Now, listen, you guys, Pink 42 is certainly going to be album of the decade, album of the century, or whatever you want to call it, because reports are coming in, you guys, that Pink 42 has already wrecked in 120,000 in pure sales, okay? And at the same time, you guys, Spotify Wrapped is out there causing commotion on Instagram. And uh, we're going to be talking about Nicki Minaj reassuring her fans that Pink Father 2 is still going to come out on December 8th. And at the same time, same time you guys, uh, Beyonce's Renaissance Tour is out there wrecking in millions and millions and millions and Lori Harvey and Idris uh, Dems and Idris were spotted together and people are like they're back together and I'm like probably he's the one because if you know Lori she doesn't go back okay um these are the things that we're going to be talking about in this video hello tea lovers and welcome to the tea vlog i trust you guys are doing well and i trust you are doing great personally i am doing great you guys i am doing amazing so first of all i'm just going to start by reassuring you now if you did listen to the first video that i posted i think about four hours ago you would know that well i mentioned something about people speculating that pink friday to is going to be pushed back now it seems like Nicki Minaj is coming out here reassuring us that indeed there is not going to be any motivation as Wendy Williams would say um, she's letting us know that the album is coming out December 8th as I rightfully speculated in my earlier on video because if those vocals are coming in it could be anything you guys it could literally be vocals for the deluxe album okay the problem is people want Nicki Minaj to tell them each and every step as if they don't know who she's going again just going against the whole machine so if she announces each and every step of hers they will sabotage her so that is the problem that i get with some babs or out here going in front of Nicki minaj speculating things and stuff like that they don't understand that this woman has to move this way because of what she's working against like who in your entire life have you ever had was able to go against the industry machine and beat it but Nicki minaj just did has done it you guys and she's out here re-picking 10 years, more than 10 years after she came out. She's out there doing it. So please, yes, the album is still coming, Um, okay? Now, the next thing that I'm going to be talking about, we are going to be talking about Nicki Minaj's Pink Father 2. Now, it is being reported, you guys, that Nicki Minaj's album has sell, has actually uh, sold, um, you know, an estimated 120,000 pure copies just from pre-sale. Now, before I say congratulations to Nicki Minaj, and the pubs. I just want to say, you guys, this, I actually do believe that this this is possible. You know, the pre-saves, pre-sales, um, I feel like they would be able to get to this point. This is just an estimated figure. However, that being said, let this not be a reason for you to sleep on this album. Let this not be the reason for you to not buy the album, to not keep buying the album, buy for your loved ones, okay? If you've got somebody that you know would love this album but doesn't have money to buy, why don't you just buy them and gift them this album? Album, okay don't let the 120,000 speculation fool you okay we might actually be there but there's still room for improvement so please don't stop buying please don't stop encouraging people to buy so that being said you guys now I can say congratulations to Nicki Minaj in the past because this is epic this is literally epic this is a, a whole cultural reset, you guys. And I love to see this for Miss Oneka Tanya Mirage, okay? Now, the next thing that I'm going to be talking about, you guys, I am going to be talking about Spotify Wrapped. Now, this thing is caused commotion on Twitter. Like, I'm just opening my Twitter and it's a war. It's a fight about this. It's, a, it's, it's that um, Transformer gang, you know, editing pictures to make sure that Nicki Minaj doesn't show on their list. It's wild, you guys. It's literally wild. Um, Let me know, you guys, how is your Spotify wrapped looking like? Who are your top artists? Which ones are your top tracks? What's up? What's happening, you guys? Let me know in the comment section, okay? And um, we're going to going to talk about how Nicki Minaj made it to top 10 without even an album out and uh, I'm looking at the entire list it seems like Nicki Minaj and um you know and Doja Cat are the only two rappers who are in the top 10 in as far as female artists are concerned and now I'm looking at Doja Cat and Nicki Minaj and I'm like Doja Cat it's understandable because she actually did put out an album a whole album but Nicki Minaj her album is not even yet out yet she has made the top 10 now listen, 
congratulations to Nicki Minaj um, and the Bubs once again. And you guys want to compare this woman with all these nonsensical other little girls and try and say that she's in the same league with them. Oh my goodness. Um, the next thing that I'm going to be talking about, you guys, I am going to be talking about Beyonce's Renaissance tour. Now, whilst you guys are worried about Beyonce bleaching and accusing her of bleaching, do you know what's happening? She's out there raking in millions with the Renaissance World Tour. Now, now it is actually being reported, you guys, that uh, Beyonce's Renaissance film um, is out here raking in close to 40 million US dollars. Now, if that's not her being a queen, I do not know what is. So you guys hop into the comment section and let me know what you think about Beyonce's tour raking in 30 to 40 million opening weekend at the global box office. Personally, I love to see black women winning. I love to see black women who actually work hard winning because that woman, you can say anything you want to say about that woman. But one thing she does is she works hard. She puts in the work and you cannot take that away from her. Okay. And uh, the next thing that I'm going to be talking about, you guys, Rihanna is out there ranking in the top five most streamed female artists of 2023 on Spotify. And the last time that she released an album was in 2016. Talk about a queen. 2016 is when she last released an album and here she is making it to top five. Honestly, congratulations to Rihanna. I love to see um, all these Caribbean girls winning. It's a, it's a beautiful thing to watch. We have Rihanna, we have Nicki Minaj and they're doing their thing. And we love that. We love to see that, okay? And uh, the next thing that we're going to be talking about, you guys, it seems like Demson Idris and Lori Harvey might actually be back together after all. Now, of course, this came as a shock as fans had learnt that the two of them had broken up. Now, it seems like they were spotted at the Beyonce's Renaissance Tour concert film. Um, you know, the premiere, um, despite them having announced their breakup three weeks ago. So people are like, oh my goodness, this must be the one. Because if you do know Lori Harvey, when she leaves, she leaves. She's not coming back. Do you understand what I'm saying? She stays really true to her decisions and she, she is not coming back. If she says she, she she's leaving a guy, she's literally leaving a guy. So the fact that she's out there going back to him, it speaks volume, you guys, if you ask me. But hey, that is just my opinion. Let me know in the comment section what you think about the two of them. I think maybe it was a work thing. It could have been a work thing where they had or they were supposed to make an appearance together as a couple before they broke up. And now they just have to do the thing. So I do not know, you guys. Let me know what you think about that in the comment section. And uh, the next thing that I'm going to be talking about, you guys, the Bongo Tooth Cobra has finally left, um, you know, the Billboard World 100 after two weeks on the charts a moment of silence after all those snakes in the video after all that you know everything she was doing and it looked like a high budget uh, you know video after it being you know the comeback single this is what it has managed to do oh my goodness <laughs> I honestly don't know what to say about this because you guys like to say, oh my goodness, you're putting down another black queen and stuff like that. But I'm just laying, saying a flop is, is, is a flop, regardless of who, whether it's coming from a black woman or not. Like, a flop is a flop. And this was a flop. And she allowed the transformative career hype of a comeback single and... She's only, I don't know if she's ever going to be able to realize that the transformer actually does use her. Um, she took her entire, you know, um, you know, cloud that he had, she that she had the cloud that she had from the trial and it being a, her first, uh, you know, comeback single. It all went to Bongo, that sub pass song that they did together, you guys. Let me know in the comment section or how you feel about that. How sad are you as a fan? Okay, how sad are you? Let me know about that, you guys, in the comment section, okay? Now, uh, the next thing that we're going to be talking about, Ice Spice is out there celebrating, uh, you know, her Spotify wrapped win because, you guys, she's out here ranking with the legends and um, she's out here celebrating that while well, she had 48 point six um, million new listeners and 42 million saves 24.2 m playlists as well as 281 thousand 
um, 400 top artist fans, okay? And uh, honestly speaking, I love to see this for her. She stayed in a lane, remained unproblematic, remained respecting people who came before her, even respecting the Transformer, you guys. I will forever respect Iron Spice for that. Okay, for not picking and choosing sides, for staying true to who she is as an artist, for being smart. Okay, because despite of who she is loyal towards, she knows that she's a new artist and she doesn't have that much of a fan base to be going against people who have been in a game. A lesson that she could have taught, um, you know, lottery ticket her other, you know, light skinned fellow. But it seems like lottery thought she she had known it all. So I, I mean that's that's a loss okay hopefully in 2024 she will learn one, one or two things from i spice that being said you guys thank you very much you guys for watching and um thank you very much for making it this far if you haven't already what are you waiting for smash that subscribe button and do turn on the notification bell so that you'll be notified each and every time that i post and do not forget to check for the email in the description box and uh, just let me know uh, you know, if you would be willing to participate and I will send through the questionnaire. And um, until my next one, you guys, see you.